could really do with seeing those actually. I did get some coal from one of those uh, with the skeletons I killed. And I reckon that probably the best way to do those is to actually better be careful because if those zombie pigmen are being a problem, they're all gone. Where in the earth have they gone to? Right. So let's have a look. Let's put the mob. Yes, let's put. Where has he gone to? Here we are. Let's put this fornet in here. And let's put in here the. Uh, what have I got? The pulverizer is the one I want. The blaze rod. I should get four. This appears straight away into the chest, of course. Four blaze powders. Four blaze powders. I can then go and take one of these with a the slime. I've got a lot of slime balls, you may have noticed. And they are coming from. Um, A slime plant. I planted a slime plant back here, and every once in a while, there's a, a large, whatever I put it, sort of safe. But in fact, it's not as safe as I want it to be. Here, and every once in a while, a large spare slime spawns, and if I kill it with my looting sword, I get about twenty um, slime balls from one um, from one large mob. It's quite amazing. I don't know what I want to do in here. Yes, let's put those blaze powders in here and the coal as well. Okay, next thing we needed. This is all to do with rituality. With a block of obsidian which we have got in here. So that's that. We need a block of lapis. And I don't think I've got enough lapis yet. Let's have a look. We've certainly got a bit here. Let's just make double these up a bit. And I haven't got my sigil with me that I need. Let's do that. So I need the green grove sigil. And I'll take the division nation sigil as well. Oh yeah, I'll check that. I don't think I need anything else in here. So if I now hit those, I should get, I've got three seeds, good. That one got, actually planted one, the other, that's good too. That one's not, so now I've got seven. Let's just plant some of those. Okay. Right, that's grown up. What we can then do is take the sickle of the green grove. Right, click it three times and then hit it. That's good, you see it does that. So I've got 10. Actually that's enough. I don't need more than 10. Because I want 9. And with 9 I get 9 lapis. And from 9 lapis I get a block of lapis. Yes, I need this here. Right, one block of lapis. So what was the other one I need? It actually in fact let's have a look at the quest book because there's a few things I can do for, to complete this quest. So the one we want to do is rituality. So we've got this one the elemental inscription tool. Elemental inscription tool the four Hang on, so let's have a look about that one. Uh, element, I suppose, is probably the last word. Here we go. This we can't do yet, I believe. Elementary is wall. So that's a block of lapis on a tier 3 altar, 1000 LP. 
and then the other was a gas tear. Okay, gas tear is the only one that's a weeny bit awkward, but not impossible. And the way we do that is here. I think I'm sort of prepared. This is the uh, cyclic assembler. So here I've got rubber. And rubber is one clay, one water bucket, and two gravel. So all I need now is a water bucket. In fact, while I'm doing going and getting my water bucket. I've got five in here, that's fine. We'll just pick up five buckets of water here. And simply right click this here. And that's produced one raw rubber. Now this raw rubber here, if I look at the usages of that, that's interesting, you can make a, a torch. Smelt it, use it as fuel. So 10,000 LP and a gas will give me a gas tier in a tier one altar. That's quite a lot of LP, so let's come over here. I'm not going to do that because whatever happens over there is it drains away. And I need my swords first of all as well. Oh yes, one of the things I did, i show you this as well, for us starting too much here. Actually, let's put those buckets of water in here. Let's take out of here the recipe, and let's put the buckets of water into the tank here. I don't want to carry this around, really. In fact, the Cyclic assembler holds 10 buckets, 10,000 LP uh, water, so it's got 4,000 in, which is correct. Put four buckets in, didn't I? Right. So, what am I up to? Gas tear, that's right. I wanted to get this. Oh, that's it. I need to get these. I got them out, haven't I? Yes. So I'm going to do some cutting on myself now to get this up to 10,000. At the moment it's got 1,866, strange amount. So let's keep... One more half and then I can eat, probably. So that will now have it in it 5,000. I need to do it again. And over here... Let's... Let's just move this out of there. I don't need this. I do need this one in here. So we only need 1000 LP. So if I take out of here this orb, and then we can put in here the. Oh yes. That's actually probably enough. Because one hit on a mob will give me more than a thousand. Let's have a look. 5,000. So the next one after this will be a Magna Cream. Oops, it's already done. Oh my goodness, that was fast, wasn't it? Let's get this out of here. Oops. I think it'll turn into something else if I'm not careful. Yep, I've got my elementary inscription tool here. One. Get this thing right. Because you can't quite see it, and that's already done as well. There's another bone in that. So, the only one I need to do after this lot, yes, how much have I got in there now? 4,500 plenty. Let's put the obsidian in. It might be tier 4 actually that it turns them into something else. There we go. So now I've got three of the inscription tools that I need. Um, let's get rid of this stuff in here. We don't want the stuff that we don't need on us. Robert, we need 10,000. Oh yes, that's right. Tape measure, which I left back there. The, the trick with the mob spawning is you have to be 18 blocks away. When I first did this, I got it completely 
completely wrong. I didn't understand what I was quite that. So if I put this tape measure down here, and you right click it, and that's the starting measurement. Then I just come back here. Let me just actually eat because I'm still rather hungry. Not yet, can't do more than two. And I come back to the tape measure. It says I am 22 meters away at this spot, which is great because that basically means that mobs are going to spawn and they're going to move around. It's between 18 and 36, I think, maybe 38, and they will do. They will spawn after eight, when you're 18 away, and they keep moving until you're about 38 away, I think, or 36. So at this place, uh, they should be spawning nicely over there. Anyway, let's get on with this bleeding business again. So now I've got nine. It won't be enough. It must be another 2,000 almost. And I could eat other things. In here, I've probably got something wrong one. What's the metal? I could eat once cooked, so I'll cook it and then it'll go back again. I also got in here potatoes, or golden apples, or bread. In fact, cooked chicken is also a good one. So we'll look at cooked chicken. If I hold shift on it, so that gives me three health and four saturation. So let's do that. So now I can eat. See now it's gone right. Uh, the saturation is right up the top. There, so I've got oh, quite a reasonable amount. And in here, I've now got seven thousand two hundred. So I just have to really wait until I've got enough blood. I could take a tank and put a tank, a feeder tank in, but it goes very slowly. And the reason for that is like twenty um, LP per tick, I think. Or, Per second it's really quite slow how fast it goes out but if I look here and go back to the ruins we can go through these ruins so this is the self-sacrifice and the self-sacrifice is we need a master blood orb which is the next level up it increases the amount of uh, blood you get when you cut yourself the ruins of sacrifice we've already done that increases the amount of blood from the sacrificial dagger of sacrifices it efficiency ruin doesn't exist anymore speed ruin makes the processing go faster blood ruin is a standard one augmented capacity increases the capacity of the altar ruins of dislocation that at, these make the blood if you've got a tank on it run out much faster and the ruins of the orb I'm not sure what they order so you have to have to look that one up then we have these two, which which we we are going to have to make. Which one do I need? Cannot use. Cannot place dust grunts. This one, and this is actually what we're going to do next after this. And this is the dust grunt one here. You need demonic slates. Demonic slates require a tier four altar. So actually, that's just a block of coal. Okay. So wow, ah oh, look how health is good. And also this is also good. We shall fill this up again. The next thing I'll do after this altar will be upgrade it to tier four. And with the um how much have we got here? And also put a well of suffering in so that will automatically then as mobs spawn kill them off. I got in here, our oh, fourteen good. So look, nine thousand two hundred. I think that should be one more cut. Yes, now we've got the 10,000. 
now we can put the gas tear in and wait patiently for that to turn into uh, sorry raw rubber it is into a gas tear I think that's actually quite slow let's have a look at the altar we'll just find out oh actually it's not too bad it won't be too long before this is finishes off good zombie brain see now the, this altar is also full what have I got in it a zombie flash I don't know let's get rid of this zombie stuff out of here that's clear that you need to make sure the item hop is otherwise it'll put something in there first take that out shove those into this over here oh we've got a zombie head as well so by now I hope Right, it's getting done. 3,700, nearly finished now. So I can now carry on eating. Two thousand five hundred. is one more thing I need to make as well. Let's go back to the quest book here. Go back there and look for this one. Wouldn't it be grand? So we've got this to make. A scented artificial hive. So let's look how we do that. So we need an artificial hive, scented artificial hive, an artificial hive. So that's made with a hay bale, which is nine uh, wheat, and a silk mesh, which is made with nine string. Now in here, I think I've already got that prepared. So let's take 16, don't need 16. Those two out of here. Make this up to, if I get it right, one hail bell, one mesh. If it's shaped crafting, they go like that. One artificial hive. Now, the next thing you have to do is to make this artificial hive a scented artificial hive. And the way we do that is by putting that, of course, in a tier 2 altar with 8,000 LP. So here we've got our gas tier now. Let's put that out of there. Take the gas tier. Oops, nearly walked around there quite nicely. And what I can do is I can put both the gas tier and the artificial hive in here. And it will certainly give me enough. Let's have a look. How much have I got in here? 8,000. I think it only uses 1,000, isn't it, for the gas tear to be? Yes, it's already done. And now it's got the bale. And the altar's already got over 8,000. So we shall not have a problem with that. Yep. And, of course, eating. And lastly, Checking the quest book again. So this one should now be done. Air. I've got that, haven't I? Yes. Then we've got Eye of the Storm. We've got to make a Master Ritual Stone. Okay. I knew that was coming. This is why we need the... Um, the one of the reasons we need this uh, Master orb as well which one magician's orb because we need to make a master ritual stone in fact there's no I can just leave this running it will be I go and collect this thing that's floating around up there put it away magician's blood orb is the one I wanted so let's go and find out how we do that four blocks of obsidian and four ritual stone four ritual stones are, that's quite a lot of that makes four that's good so four reinforced slates which of course is four stone and four obsidian with the apprentice blood orb well, actually makes a ritual stone 
and the master ritual stone you need the magician's blood orb for okay so I need basically another four stone and I think I need is it 12,000 for these this one actually does take quite a long time to cook so I think I can do three in a full how are we doing with this let's have a look it's, it is going down quite slowly and the altar progress doesn't actually tell you what is in there I suspect that's supposed to tell you so let's have a look at this I think that almost fills it up doesn't it might even be possible to do the 12,000 oh this is kind of looking a bit strange I just have to be patient here and wait until that's done and you have to be patient with me <laughs> Was this artificial? Yes, I did realise that the artificial hive was actually quite slow. I think it was eight thousand, wasn't it? In fact, while we're doing that, we could make an emerald. Now I need an eight buckets. I've got five here. One in here. None in here. Check that sorted again. Double check it if you never know sometimes you miss them. None in here. And none in here. But we got plenty of iron. Do I want to do that yet? No. The reason I don't want to do that is because it uses too much of your I want iron ingots. Invite ingots, here we go. How many do I need? Eight. That'll give me nine. Nine buckets, which is fine. I'm about to need another bucket for something else. Well, this artificial hive is boring. Let's just check it again. 6,000, okay. One skeleton. It's difficult to actually tell, that's about 2,000 or more. Not one of those. Even actually your back gives you quite a lot, so look what this is now. Uh, 9,600, 500. Wait for the back to come out. Oh, this is taking too long. I go away because then the mo it gives chance for mobs to spawn, that's why I keep going forwards and backwards. They might have finished. Nope, not finished yet. Right, what else can I do? I was planning to do some more machines, wasn't I? Let's have a look while I'm waiting for this. Let's do the redstone in furnace. Redstone furnace is this recipe here. So this is just bricks, copper, and a reception coil. I've got bricks, copper I haven't got in there yet, bricks I need, and that's made with clay. Copper I need as well, I haven't got any copper, and redstone, okay, but I've got redstone in here I think. No I haven't. Bricks I should have in here. 
Yes, I made four. No, there's nether bricks. No, I want clay bricks. I know I need the nether bricks or something, or I think it was to make another brick. That's recipe. Oh, hold on a second. What did you see then? I've got my stone bricks up here already prepared. Okay, put those up there. So now we just need the redstone and the copper ingot. Copper ingots. We should have plenty of. 15. And the last thing part we need just redstone. Let's go and get some redstone. Ah, oh, my hive's done. In fact, let's go and do that. Well, it did take a long time, didn't it? So, 7,500. And... In go my four stone. I have to keep an eye on this now. 8,000. I think we should be alright with those two mobs. Redstone was in the cyclic assembler with the blood attached to it. I'm keeping my eye on this. So redstone, I just want one redstone. So let's just put in actually four redstone will do. Put that in here. That can be four redstone. Take this out again and put the sand back. Oh look, those slates are already done, isn't that great? seed. Huh. Actually those are only level blank slates. I need to get these up to reinforce didn't I? So I have to put those back in again. And let's just check the level. It's literally 2,000 each so maybe I just have to wait until another mob spawns. 7,500. It's probably enough Yeah, let's take the seed out of here. There's another bat flying around, so that bat alone will give me enough blood. Yeah, so that's enough blood. It's 2,000 for each stone, and what did I want to do? Redstone was in here. I've got too much stuff in there, let's put in the redstone into here. And now I can make a redstone furnace. And I can put the redstone furnace down here and put one. I should, I don't have the, in the other chest, aren't they? Oops. Okay, until next time. Bye for now.